Hello and welcome to our English news edition coming to you from Canal Algeri to the headlines. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boun, receives the Saudi Interior Minister Emir Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Algeria is heading towards a national digital currency, a statement made by the Prime Minister while chairing a meeting coinciding with the 60th anniversary of the Algerian Bank. A new railroad linking the Simsil to Bugizul Msila is officially inaugurated as part of a program meant to lift isolation on this province in line with the high authorities' guidelines. Good evening, those were the headlines. We begin our today's news with the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boun, who received on Monday the Saudi Interior Minister, Emir Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The audience took place at the premises of the Presidency of the Republic in the presence of the Minister of Interior, Brahim Marad. And the Bank of Algeria celebrated its 60th anniversary, an occasion to hold a conference on the future challenges of central banks, during which the Prime Minister revealed the creation of the first monetary pool in Algeria in 2023. In his keynote speech, the Premier Ayman bin Abdurrahman highlighted the important role of the Bank of Algeria in the accompaniment of the financial and economic development of the country. The digitization of payment is among the open workshops of the Bank of Algeria, aiming to move towards the adoption of a digital form of currency. Prime Minister also announced the opening of the capital of at least two public banks in 2023. Let's now have a listen to Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman stressing the necessity of the Algerian bank system to cope with the ongoing developments. Monetary authority must function in coordination with the finance ministry to speed up the procedures for opening a central bank of public banks, at least two in 2023, in order to give new impetus to competitiveness and allow the creation of new products integrated in monetary and banking operations. This is a part of the commitments of the President of the Republic that we must concretize during the year 2023. We are heading towards the opening of a central bank of two state banks before moving towards towards other banks and institutions in the future. In accordance with the instructions of the President of the Republic, the Bank of Algeria will create the first monetary pool in Algeria since independence, and this would be at the beginning of the year 2023. It will be an exceptional pool with better service. In the same context, the Bank of Algeria, which represents our national sovereignty, keeps introducing new strategies and mechanisms to cope with the economic developments dedicated by a world economic order in which survival is for the fittest. Melissa Kubash reports. Today is a special day for the Bank of Algeria. It symbolizes the recovery of the national sovereignty and an opportunity to highlight the main role of this institution in the economic and monetary policy of the country. The governor of the bank, for his part, indicated the significant progress and achievements made by the bank to this day. The foreign exchange reserves currently exceed $60 billion after nearly a year and a half of imports of goods and services. It should be noted that the Algerian Bank have made significant progress. The year 2022 has been a new challenge in terms of control and inflation as a global phenomenon. The event was marked by the participation of governors of central banks of Arab countries as well as institutions alongside the head of the Arab Monetary Fund. I would like to congratulate the officials of the Central Bank of Algiers. Their presentations were of good quality. They allowed us to know more about the different challenges faced by the bank, as well as its continuous efforts in supporting the national economy. There is two objectives. The first one is about the stability of prices, and the second one is related to the financial stability. Central Arab and African banks are called on to face the challenges encountered by their institutions, and this by strengthening their cooperation. It is worth mentioning that this point will be discussed during the 47th session of the Arab State Monetary Fund, scheduled on September 2023.
Earlier in the day, the Prime Minister supervised the opening of the third conference of ministers and leaders in charge of technical and vocational education and training in the Arab world organized in the International Conference Center here in Algiers. The opening ceremony took place in the presence of the President of the National People's Assembly, Brahim Bougali, two advisors to the President of the Republic, as well as senior state officials of the Arab Organization for Education, Culture and Science. The conference held under the motto Adaptation of Technical and Vocational Education and Training to the Labor Market and the Future of the Digital Economy aims to put in place a plan for the development of technical and vocational training and education in the Arab world and to promote the national experiences in this field. Prime Minister noted on the occasion the important role of vocational training in Algeria's development strategy as well as the state's high interest in the questions relating to the aspirations of the Arab citizens. In another context, the new railway line Tisim Seed Bogazul Msila was inaugurated on Monday by the Minister of Transport in the presence of several other ministers, a new asset for our country that will undoubtedly further open up the region. Story by Ines Kilo. The new railway linking Msila to Begzul in the province of Mdiya and to Tisimsilt, including the stations of Ain Lahjal, Busayh in Msila, and Birin in Jirfa province. It is made according to modern standards with a railway of 290 kilometers and stations equipped with the latest state of art equipment, a new asset that is operational and highly appreciated by the local inhabitants. We are very happy. We thank the President of the Republic for all his deeds. This new railway will make our trips easier. The first benefit of this railway concerns directly citizens who are required to preserve this achievement and to be aware of its dangers as well. An important ministerial delegation attended the inauguration of this strategic project, which was attended by Algerian executives specialized in the completion of major infrastructure projects. According to the instructions of the President of the Republic and the Prime Minister, I came accompanied by this ministerial delegation to high plateau regions to launch this part of the new East-West Railway that extends over a distance of 1,160 kilometers. We launched today the part linking Tisimsilt to Msila, passing by Bogazul on distance of 290 kilometers. There are many projects underway, some of which we have not started yet. Our program is rich and is in the process of being launched. We will complete this railway in order to link the north to the south. This line will give impetus to merchandises and internal trade, which will also enable our exporters to deliver their products comfortably to the northern regions. This great achievement, crowning the projects planned by the President of the Republic, the Government Council took place in Tisimsilt, as you know, and many decisions were made to start embodying the projects in the region. The high plateau railway line linking Tisimsil to Msila, which will pass through other regions in the future, will benefit 7 million people throughout several provinces of the country. A flashback now to the main achievements of the year 2022 due to be over in a few days. Today's focus will be on the labor market that witnessed a great progress in terms of job creations, creation and the labor class preservation. More insights with Miri Sakabash.
In order to achieve sustainable development, the you know, Algeria is deploying all its efforts, mobilizing all the necessary means while implementing the strategy of peace and stability. The sector of employment has been a boon for the youth, who were accompanied by the government through a well-studied employment strategy, including the National Agency of Employment, which for its part mobilized 600,000 job opportunities. Another step taken by the President of the Republic for the benefit of our youth is the unemployment allowance that will offer our young people a decent life until they obtain a job. It's a good thing for us until we find a job. I've just registered to benefit from this allowance. And in support of this social segment, the President of the Republic gave a series of guidelines during the Council of Ministers of December 25th to raise the unemployment allowance from 13,000 to 15,000 dinars, while the state covers the health insurance of the unemployed. An allowance that started on March 28, 2022, nearly 580,000 young people benefited from it, while the total of this year reached 1,839,000 thousand job applicants for the first time. The retirees also benefited from the measures taken by the state to ensure them a decent life and upgrade their purchasing power, including the increase in the retirement grant to 15,000 dinars to everyone getting paid less than 10,000 dinars. The decision came after an upgrade of 2 and 10 percent with 3,671,000 beneficiaries. And with the high cost of living that affected the entire world, the government responded to the citizens' concern and needs and increased the wages for the upcoming two years, 2023-2024, so that the annual level ranges will be between 4,500 dinars to 8,500 dinars, making the increase approved up to 47 percent. As for the housing sector, the government ensured the implementation of the projects, making the year 2022 a year of housing distribution, starting with 45,000 housing units, then 160,000 units. By November and on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the outbreak of our National Liberation War, the housing sector was reinforced with 120,000 housing units across the country. As for the principle of free health care, it is considered as a red line. A large number of health institutions have been unfrozen across the country, while emergency departments have been upgraded with a digitization system. For a better care of patients that require special treatment, a new project has been been launched dedicated to an Algerian Qatari German hospital. The hospital will be equipped with 400 beds, 20 modern operation rooms, and will provide more than 5,500 jobs. These perspectives were all carried through a well worked out plan by the government, always determined to provide and mobilize all means to ensure a better life for the Algerian citizen in the new Algeria. In a different story, Saidal Group is the leader of the national pharmaceutical industry. However, it is stepping up first to increase its production notably in terms of insulin and anti-cancer medications, another challenge for this promising Algerian company. Inesquilo reports. Saidal Group is a leader in the pharmaceutical industry with 40 years of experience, with an increase in turnover of 78% between 2021-2022. Today, Saidal Group has three regional distribution units, a drug research and development center run by qualified Algerian personnel, and eight production plants spread throughout the national territory. This plant is specialized in producing tablets and capsules with a production capacity of 14 million units per year. Thanks to modern equipment and 100% qualified Algerian employees, the Saital Group produces no less than 200 types of medicines exceeding 250 million units per year. Within the framework of the group's strategy, partnerships, are established between Saidal Group and the National Scientific Research Centers with the aim of establishing a unit for research, development and innovation in the service of the group. 
استراتيجية صيد المبني على ثلاث محاور إنتاجية. The third access, which is also very important, that of the production of insulin. Indeed, we will start to produce insulin from the first quarter of the year 2023 in Konstantin province with a production capacity of 1 million bucks. The project to create an establishment between the project to create an establishment between Slider Group and the Research Centers for Pharmaceutical Sciences, the Research Center for Biotechnology and the Higher School of Technology will make it possible to achieve the objectives of developing the local medications and achieving self-sufficiency in some pharmaceutical products. Abroad, the Moroccan Association for Human Rights revealed in a report that the Mahzen regime committed heinous violations during some unfair trials against asylum seekers of African origins. This concerns people arrested following the tragedy of Melila, a tragedy which resulted in the death of dozens of migrants and according to the same report, falsified police reports were used in, other, in order to wrongfully condemn these African detainees. And finally, at the Culture's Palace, Mufti Zakaria here in Algiers, the Culture Minister supervised a support program to the winners of the competition of the President of the Republic for Young Talent talented artists Ali Maashi. She also signed several agreements with the different cultural institutions. For Soraya Muruji, it is highly important to accompany the laureates in all sectors so as to promote their creation and enhance its symbolic value and eventually enrich the Algerian artistic scene. And with that, we come to the end of our today's program. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye.